Oh, well, human nature ain't always bad. There was uh, three girls walking in front of me blocking my way and one of them in the middle turned around and saw that her friend was blocking me getting forward and she pulled her aside and, and actually yeah, the girl said sorry. So that's amazing. Very polite. Very nice to see. So uh, yeah, it just depends on the individual I guess. So uh, th yeah, that's how I feel about it. I don't like to sort of inconvenience someone if possible. It's, it's like the uh, the travelators in uh, in Cairns Central. It's amazing the locals just don't understand that uh, you know you can block easily block someone's way, and they're just oblivious to people behind them who who would probably, especially if they're young and fit, who'd like to actually move straight ahead. And they, whereas in Melbourne, the protocol's well understood. That you always move to the left side and provide a, like a, uh, a right hand fast lane. Uh, that's just that's just given but up here time's not so important I guess and people just aren't aware of it. I don't know if they're just being overly selfish. I don't think they are. I think it's just a different way of thinking. Some do, some don't. Some you know care about whether someone behind them can get access but most people, it's not an issue, I guess. Is he moving? Whew. Wouldn't be doing that on a trike, wouldn't better get that fast. <laughs> Unless they get that collapsible electric uh, bike from Brisbane. And that's tempting. It's only about 20k, so it's quite plausible to to take that. I haven't looked up online to see whether you can actually ride electric bikes legally without a license in um, Vietnam. Interesting question that. But there, I've seen them for about 800 bucks which is quite reasonable for an electric bike. It's very very reasonable. And they can, they can zip around, they have about 40k of um, battery life. It's not bad. So it's definitely an option. Great if you sort of turn up to a place and you've got your own transport with you. So it's a real tempting possibility just to pay a bit more for my luggage on the plane. It's not a big deal though. It's been a really ordinary day up until now. The wind's been really bad, so even though it hasn't rained, I didn't take the trike out. Uh, we've had about four or five days of lousy weather, either rainy and or windy. So hopefully it'll stop now because it's been a bit ordinary to say the least. You expect to have a bit better weather up here than that. Uh, yeah, just the, uh, the lights actually changed again. So those pedestrian lights have finally been fixed by the looks of things. It's about bloody time. Since I've been up here, they've been crap. So, you know, as I say, Queensland time. I've still got to take on my body corporate. I don't know what to do with them because Cairns office just don't seem to be responding to me at all. I've never had this before where they just ignore you. It's just, just pathetic. Um, it's been a pretty frustrating morning actually. Started off when I went downstairs. Beautiful day. That's the good news. Uh, it's about the third or fourth nice day we've had in a row, which is great. But um, when I went down to get on the bike on the trike. I discovered that the um, the chain had gone loose from the main cog on the front of where the pedals are. So I tried to put it back on but because there's a chain guard there I'll have to remove that so I can get access in there so I can actually hopefully coax the uh, the chain back onto the cogs. So otherwise I won't be able to ride the bloody thing. So a bit of a pain so that was the first hassle. So I ended up having to walk here rather than ride. And uh, you know, it's nice riding because it's faster, uh, easier, and it's a bit of a conversation piece too. And the second hassle was I wanted to do, um, when I left here yesterday, the, uh, I bought a watering can. It has a little top bit on, on top of the spout where it's got the little uh, filter, you know, the tiny holes in there to, fill, to have to send filtered water through to your plants. That just fallen off. The whole thing's made in, in pieces. and. Uh, so this one unfortunately fell off when it was in the back of the bike, the trike, and I don't know what's happened to it. So I came back today hoping that maybe I'd be able to just get that part and, uh, and get a, 
you know, I shown them receipt and just get that tiny part for the top of it that they said no they can't cannibalize one or the other watering can. So what I've got to do is go and bring back the other watering can. So go through the fast of bringing that back, get a re either get a refund or swap it for one that's got the bloody uh, intact uh, filter at the front, the top of the spout. It's not my fault, it's a crappy design. I don't know why they made it so that everything falls apart so easily. It's not a good design, and it might be why it's in that shop on a discount. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit frustrating. So, well, I mean, I'm, at least I'm close by, so that's the good news, but having to bring the thing back again is just a bit of a pain, but I can do it. Uh, and the other, other funny thing happened today was... Uh, when I was at the uh, the checkout at Coles, of course at Coles, it's like uh, shopping at the old gum department store in Moscow back in the good old days of the Soviet Empire when obviously not everything's available or many items aren't available and that seems to be the way that Coles is going these days. They don't, they're not replenishing stock. I wanted to get some condensed milk and there's just none on the shelves. Well, that may be connected with uh, the fact that there was a Chinese shopper behind me today and she was uh, she wanted to buy several containers of uh, formula and apparently it's been a huge rush on that it's got so bad apparently in Sydney where they're having to put it behind the counter that's uh, that's how desperate the Chinese are to get their uh, baby formula so uh, that's what the checkout chick told me here anyway and uh, so this woman who's had the cart and of course very pushy and, and nudging the part the, the, the cart behind me which i really hate my personal space being invaded like that so she's a pretty pushy individual and she sort of had a, a slight altercation with the checkout chick about how much of this stuff she could buy she said she had a friend with her so she could buy another one but uh, the friend wasn't there at that time so the checkout woman said look she's got to be with you to get that extra container of formula so she didn't go into a, into a rage or anything but she certainly was going to push the point but yeah it's bizarre when you know the, the food stuff so poor over in China that they're desperate for anything clean they have to come to Australia for it so uh, it's a reality but uh, hopefully I'll get this bike up and running I got uh, 10 made an absolute pig myself bought 10 uh, Chiquito bars which I've taken quite a liking to. I had three of the damn things last night and I think it uh, it certainly filled up my stomach and <laughs> I won't be doing that again but uh, I bought 10 of them today so this is my confession. I mean why not? I mean they're on special. They're, they're, just a week ago they were $2 for a bar of a Chiquito bar now it's $1. So when are you going to buy them? When they're twice as much or half as much? I ask you. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if they think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.